it's March Day 6, Game 11 of the ongoing Nigeria Cricket Federation Women's C20I Invitational. We are here for the toss. With me here is Vice Captain of the Sierra Leonean side, Zainab Kamara, alongside Captain of the Tanzanian team, Neymar Payos. We also have tournament referee, Tonya Timinadi, and the third umpire for the day, NSC Abib. You have the toss, Zainab. You have the coin, rather. Can you do us the toss? Ed is the call. Ed of it. Ed of it. There's the head. Heads have it. Congratulations, Neymar. You win the toss. What are you going to be doing and why? I will bet first. Uh, I will bet first because even the pitch allow me to bat first. Zania has won the toss and will bat first. Zainab Kamara, who is also the wicket keeper of this team. Very last ball of this over. Woo, Miss Field there. And it is full straight on the ground. That should definitely race all the way to the boundary. Lovely shot there, but to take a single in this ball. Goes big straight on the on the offside. The only thing the fielders could do was just look at it. Just look at her. One. He was the second president of Tanzania. She goes down. Oh, drop catch. They have the chance to do it. It's just 40 runs to get to that mark. Oh, appeal for LBW and given. She me, Tanzania. Already top of the table. She goes big. Madoff couldn't just stop that. He just seems catches to be taken. And Samu is currently on 29. Goes big. Gets. Would that be maximum? Yes, it is maximum. You know, the last time I was speaking with. Lovely sweep shot. Square leg couldn't cut that without race all the way to the boundary. Oh, what? She shuffles out. Goes big this time. She, does she have the full elevation she needs? Yes, she has. The field that couldn't go down. She goes big this time, up in the air. Does she have the maximum? Yes, she does. Change of bowling for Sierra Leone. Zainab Kamara comes into the attack. Pius finds the gap. And would that race all the way to the boundary? Yes. I must say that this time Zainab Kamara and the wicket keeper taking off those wicket keeping gloves and pads to come bow. Appealing. Yes, she gets. I think it has happened. Skies it up. And that will take her to the 50 mark and above. One over. Their current run rate is 7.73. You can begin to imagine what exactly will they be and by the end of uh, another the beautiful shot. Is dispatched that. definitely so. Like I told you, they've played all round cricket. They've bowled well. They've batted well. Throughout this tourney. That's a loud shout. Darisha Omari. Surprisingly, she scored. A very low run today goes up uh, road. I tell you what, uh, Ajidagba, we all had our experiences, but one of the finest thing you do uh, when you play this game. Oh, she goes big this time into her arc and would go all. Trust me, it's going to be a good game this afternoon. Oh, amazing shot towards oh. backward of 145 for three at this point. Just around her part and she of him. You also played not out with your commentary, Agnes Quayley there. If I was going to take a shy into tech and something in the web, I'm looking at that lovely shot down. Another misfield. Gee, I don't know if that appeal was for a catch. If it was for a catch, there was nothing to ask there because oh I don't Samu to score that century is if a no ball is bold and you see Aisha playing that very number of runs and become the first player in the history of this tournament. I mean this season four. And there you go, AG. Oh. You got your mental four. I Risho Kuda Risho Omari as the second player in this tournament to play not out. Bib Amoto Enesi. 
match from me of what happened in the first innings Sao Mugolfrin Tay unarguably the best performer for batting is looking to go to the leg side now she gets that room where she had to play towards the square reg region and that will be the first bounce to bully wicket to wicket as there's a little bit of a seizure in the wind today goes up opens the blade fine leg was actually quite confused she thought the ball was going towards the only protection on the leg side is at deep mid wicket she goes big this should be over the 30th circle two one bounce to the all rounder and assets to the tanzanian side up in the air over the 30th circle would that race all the way to the boundary yes it is the Sierra Leoneans. oh drop catch that was really close and i must say ij please <laughs> up making a debut appearance in this tournament but so far they've broken records they've set new ones but that and that will the same style with Henriette Ishimwe right hand medium run out chance got in it yeah required run rate now is 18 Woo! stomping yes and the finger goes up go board the media team I want to say very good thank you for providing this lovely short short there that's people who can use both right and left you call them ambidextrous appeal there and uh f huge huge contract you must say ag even playing against the serial whoa look at that short dances down the track connect have nine wickets alongside Adekule Adeshola lovely lovely there pitch it short accent with every form of permutation there is it looks like it's a done deal for Tanzania short there congratulations Kayla Shamte Kizito one wicket considered eight runs in three overs Saomu Godfrey Mte one wicket for 11 runs in two overs that's how things panned out as far as uh, the penultimate game for the big game we are all waiting for to happen between Nigeria and Rwanda. Congratulations to Team Tanzania for winning this tournament, their first ever appearance. March the 6th game 11 of the ongoing Nigeria Cricket Federation Women's T20 Invitational here at the Tafawa Belawas Cricket Square Cricket Over here in Lagos. We just witnessed the game between Tanzania against Syria alone with Tanzania winning the toss earlier and opting to bat. We see Tanzania scoring 174, 178 for 4 in 20 overs, but with Syria alone failing to chase that target, putting up the score of 58 for 5 in 20 overs. Tanzania win by 92 runs. Allow me to welcome the losing captain of the side, Zainab Kamara. Had luck, Zainab. It is losses so far for you in this tournament. What are the takeaways? Well, like when we do the toss, I told you, right? I said we've met them once. You know that there is a bit improvement because the first match, I think we bat 47 or 45. This one, we bat 85. I think we need more improvement and we need more exposure. Like travel, we need tournament, we need like training. I think we need that one. That one would help us much better. All right. If you go back from here, you just talked about needing trainings. But then, if you go back, what are the plans? You know, to regroup before uh, subsequent competitions. I think when we go back home, we we'll put everything. Our chairman will put everything together to make us to have some competitions, like um, to go to Gambia, Ghana, or uh, here Nigeria. Maybe that will help us. Right. Thank you so much. Allow me to invite the winning captain, Nima Payos. Congratulations, Nima. You win this game and you win the tournament. Thank you. How does that make you feel? Ah, I feel good because uh, winning a tournament is everyone's uh, plan. So 
we make it and we have to proud of it. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For the player of the match award, it's no other than the person who has scored 56 runs or 57 balls, Sao Mte. Let me also invite NSC Abib, who is going to be doing us the honors, the third umpire for the day. Saum, Sao, how do you feel? I'm so happy. How do you feel, Saum? I'm so happy. Great, great, great. Congratulations. Absolutely. And that wraps up the first game of the day. It is Tanzania who has won the tournament with that victory against Syria alone. But stay tuned because you're going to be watching the blockbuster between Nigeria against Rwanda.